Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Gone Rogue. And in this episode of Gone Rogue, I, we are going to talk about how it is a wait and see for my 2024-2025 Los Angeles Lakers season. That is right, in this episode of Gone Rogue, we are going to talk about my 2024-2025 Los Angeles Lakers season and see what these new updates, new changes to this new season on um, the coming new season in October. So the last time we talked about um, the about basketball. NBA in general uh, mentioned that neither neither I went to Celtics win but it happens to be the Celtics win in the championship but that moving forward to my Los Angeles Lakers the Los Angeles Lakers have hired JJ Redick as their 29th Los Angeles Lakers head coach so the latest lake breaking update and I say lake breaking because it has a nice name to it maybe I should start, start a podcast called lake breaking with Alex Train. but going back to what I'm saying is that the Los Angeles Lakers have made a decision of hiring um, JJ Riddick as their new head coach which will be a four year contract with the Los Angeles Lakers and and I say that is that it's now just wait and see how well JJ Redick as the Los Angeles Lakers head coach performs with his new role. Uh, despite having the Lakers um, going through coaches every changing out coaches two years, I don't have high expectations um, for this coach. And really, it's just a wait and see. Really, it really wait and see. And before hiring of J.J. Redick, the Lakers were pursuing Dan Hurley, two-time champion, NCAA champion, uh, with UConn, and it seems like they weren't able to see eye to eye. And yeah, and and I really didn't expect the Lakers to go through with Dan Hurley. I've, there, there's not many names that I can think of having an NCAA double A coach go from that to the NBA. You can you can have gotten Coach K back in you know, 2007 or 2008, whatever that year was, to get Coach to the Lakers. What difference would it be here now? And I don't think I can name a coach that from the NCAA double A. We went from the NCAA to the NBA. I can back to what I'm going to say. Is that JJ Redick has no coaching experience. This is something that as a Los Angeles Laker fan, you have LeBron James, you have Anthony Davis, who are and you're in an organization that is in a win now mode with these two players on your team. If it was like the Twenty post Kobe era Lakers, like 2017 18 Lakers, I would have no problem with the JJ Redick hiring. But it seems that it seems that the JJ Redick hiring was, in my personal opinion, that you can for the Los Angeles Lakers can find a hit coach with experience because. Lakers have got that reputation that that nobody would want to coach an experienced coach would want to coach them especially especially what has with the previous coach in Darvin Ham and before coach Frank Vogel and Luke Walton um, has to go through not being able to finish their contracts but with this hiring of JJ Redick I don't have any expectations for him. 
we just have to wait and see how good of a coach he is without any coaching experience. And that being said, best of luck for J.J. Redick. And I've seen the press conference of the hiring of J.J. Redick, the introduction of J.J. Redick to the Los Angeles Lakers. And he seems... He... One thing I'll say about him is that he's a great communicator to the media, more of a great communicator to to what you see on TV. But all that matters is does it translate to communicating with the players that he's going to coach? Does it translate to wins? That's all that matters, and that's what we have to wait and see uh, for that part for J.J. Redick as being the 29th head coach in Laker history. So, with that news out of the way, let's talk about the draft picks. So, the, this year, the Los Angeles Lakers have the 17th and the 55th draft picks for this year in, on Wednesday. Uh, our, on Wednesday, the Lakers drafted um, Dalton Kinnick from Tennessee with the 17th pick. In my thoughts on that pick, before I go with the 55 pick, I think it's a great pick. It's a great steal. Um, I'm, I have no experience in watching and see double uh, A. Uh, players, but from the from the from what I'm hearing, this is might this might be the steal of the draft. This might be the uh, Miami uh, well, guess, uh, Junior on the Miami Heat steal of the draft. And hopefully, it turns out great. And Lakers need a shooter. Um, as you can see, last season the Lakers lacked shooting in all fronts, and this is one of the great additions. Um, from what the reports that I heard, the, the, he could have been a top ten draft pick, but it, he felt his same team because he's like an older player. And I think this is a great pick for uh, the Lakers. You need that maturity, that ready NBA ready uh, level, and hopefully we have to wait and see how Dalton Connect fits on this team and fits with uh, JJ Reddick's uh, Los Angeles Lakers and moving on to the 55th pick Lakers unsurprisingly drafted Bronny James and I'm just gonna say this I'm, I'm gonna say this it's a great narrative great entertainment great storyline to have Bronny James to play with his dad but it just shows that the Lakers are becoming more of an entertainment brand than than trying to establish a winning culture the one thing that I hate about this pick is that it's it's going to be a, a distraction how the media is going to distract um, the Lakers taking their attention away from winning and trying to settle these narratives and storylines and I'm pretty sure uh, I'm not the only fan but we'll have to wait and see how much of a circus this will get with the with Brownie James being on the Los Angeles Lakers and yeah so that's all I want to say about this episode of Gone Rogue more of a wait and see for my Los Angeles Lakers how well they will do and free agency on the next on the future episodes I'm going to be talking about uh, newly acquired free agencies for the Los Angeles Lakers so if you like this video please give this video a super huge thumbs up comment comment scream below what you think about this episode make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel be sure to get my other YouTube content on this channel and thank you for watching Gone Rogue and I'll definitely see you on the next one